And uh, just to chime in that there is actually an active um, First Amendment challenge to SESTA-FOSTA that was brought by the Woodhull Foundation, Human Rights Watch, the Internet Archive, and Electronic Frontier Foundation representing um, a few individual uh, individuals who were experiencing exactly this sort of um, restriction on their ability to do entirely lawful activity online, um, whether it was information for sex workers on how to um, keep themselves safe uh, and healthy, or um, a, a man who's a licensed massage therapist who ran his business through Craigslist uh, and could no longer access that entire forum when Craigslist responded to the passage of SESTA-FOSTA by shutting down their entire category for adult services that um, you know, non-sexual massages also fell under. So I think it's really important to, to recognize that in the set, what we sort of learned from the SESTA-FOSTA debate, which was that there was pre-existing federal criminal law that prosecutors could and did use to prosecute Backpage.com, and the law that was passed um, has some serious constitutional uh, deficiencies that are, are being looked at by a court right now. Um, I don't believe anybody has uh, actually used the, the FOSTA law yet, um, either at the, the state or federal level, uh, but we have seen a number of different reports from um, sex worker communities around the world uh, about the kind of the harm and the impact to their communities, including in places where sex work is lawful because of the, the kind of loss of online spaces um, that they faced.